Hey, what's up you guys? I'm Blake with U-Haul in Phoenix, Arizona. Installing a hitch on your Lincoln Continental can take you to some pretty cool places like biking, camping, or even towing a U-Haul trailer across North America. This can be kind of a difficult install, so we're gonna guide you through it. Let's take a look. You will need the tool seen here to complete this installation. So this hitch is held on by the bumper beam beneath this rear bumper. And to get to it, we're gonna have to remove the bumper. So to start, we're gonna remove two screws on either side, as well as 10 in the center. They all use a seven millimeter socket, so we're gonna go ahead and get started on that. Okay, on the driver's side wheel well, we're gonna to continue to remove the bumper by removing these three push pins here, here, and here. And we'll do that with a flathead screwdriver. So this is pretty tight quarters, and to get a little better clearance, this wheel liner here is flexible, so we can just go ahead and pull it back, and then we'll get better access. All right, now that we've got the push pins out, we need to remove a screw. It's kind of hidden though. So what you'll need to do is you'll, you'll find this seam right here where the rear bumper fascia meets up with the quarter panel and pull back the fender liner. Just to the top, there's a seven millimeter headed screw and we're gonna use a socket to take that off. All right, now that we got that out, um, just a little heads up. It's a really tight space in here, so you might have to do some of that by hand once you get it loose. Um, we're gonna repeat that on the passenger side. Okay, last step to get the bumper removed is getting the push pins that are here underneath the tail lights. Uh, to do that, we actually have to remove the tail light and we'll access that through the cargo area of the trunk. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. We're gonna remove the flooring. Okay, next we're gonna remove our scuff plate with our trim removal tool. You've got a push pin here and here on the other side. All right, so then we got this, the scuff paneling off. It's held in by these six push pins. All right, the next thing we have to do is get this interior side panel out of the way. There is two things we have to do to do that. We're gonna remove this, this cargo hook, and then there's a uh, push pin right on this side of it. So um, <clears throat> let's get started on that. This is an eight millimeter socket. Okay, so that's the only clip holding this side in. Okay, to remove the rest of the tail light, all we need is these two 10 millimeter nuts removed. We'll use a socket. Okay, uh, to finish removing the tail light, well, now that we've got the screws undone, we just need to remove this connector. And now we'll repeat on the passenger side. All right, now we've got the tail lights removed and all that's left is to get to these two push pins, uh, one on the driver's side and one on the passenger side. To uh, pull this push pin out, we're gonna use a flathead screwdriver, uh, just like we did on the ones in the fender wall. And 
and now we'll repeat on the passenger side. All right, guys, so it's time to remove the rear bumper. Um, we're gonna start on the driver's side and it's pretty easy to get off. The one thing we need to pay attention to though is that this vehicle has the rear sensors, the backup sensors, and that harness connects right here. So uh, we'll start at the driver's side and as we work around, we're gonna unplug that harness and then continue. Uh, this can be done by one person if you just take your time and be careful. So let's get into it. So just be careful. You can see the, where the tabs connect. Okay, now that we've got the rear bumper off, we're going to go ahead and remove the rear bumper beam. And it's held in place by four 10 millimeter bolts on each side. So we're gonna do that with a large ratchet. Uh, you're gonna need a little bit of torque for it. Okay, we need to trim the underbody paneling to accept the receiver tube. We've gone ahead and marked it as per the instructions, and we're gonna use an air saw. Make sure to keep your, you know, your hands away from the air saw and wear some glasses. All right, now that we've got the underbody paneling trimmed, it's time to make the cut on the rear bumper fascia. Um, be very careful, this is a newer vehicle. It has a rear sensor cable that's tucked underneath here that we noticed. It's gonna be okay and we can complete the install, but we're gonna have to route this out while we make our cut before reinstalling it. So it's pretty simple, you just pop it out of its little clips hard to show on camera. You'll see it whenever you do the install and then pull it out. All right, now it's out of the way and we're gonna go ahead and make our cut. Uh, it may take a little while though because we have two panels actually to cut through. Okay, so now that we've made our cut, uh, we're gonna just route this flexible sensor back in. Just tuck it up and under, and you'll, you'll feel it clip into place. So on this one, there are one, two, three, four, five, six things that, uh, six little connectors that hold it in place. And then on the far left side, there's a little channel that uh, keeps it secure left to right. And you'll notice with this cut, th this sensor can just pull out of the way whenever you get that set in with the receiver tube. All right, it's time to get the hitch lined up. Uh, we're gonna be using our U-Haul exclusive hitch jack. If you don't have one of these, go ahead and grab a friend. You don't wanna hurt your back. All right, so we've got the hitch lined up and installed uh, with the factory bolts, and now we're just gonna tighten and torque the spec. All right, guys, so we've got the hitch already installed, the bumper beam back on, 
and it's time to just button up the car again. Uh, however, this is the appropriate time if you're gonna do trailer wiring to get at it because the, uh, the trunk area is still disassembled and uh, it'll make your life a lot easier than trying to button everything back up and then take it apart to get the trailer wiring going. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and get it back together. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get the interior cargo panel back in place. Now we're gonna go ahead and replace the cargo hook. Now that we've got the hitch installed, I wanted to go over a couple quick measurements with you. It's got an inch and a quarter receiver tube from the bottom of the ground to the top of the receiver is 12 inches. From the center of the pinhole to the edge of the rear bumper is about six inches. That's gonna help you determine the riser drop of your hitch accessories. Thanks for joining us. If you have any questions about the product seen in this video, or if you'd like to schedule an installation with a U-Haul hitch professional, visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com.